Right, Jeff. Last week, the first time you've had to sit on the bench because you obviously weren't feeling well during the week. How close were you to to not making it at all? Um, to be honest with you, I rang uh, Wes and Gaffer a Saturday morning and kind of said, uh, "I don't think I'm going to be able to offer a lot." Um, it was Wednesday night. I come down with a tummy bug, kind of stomach flu, kind of thing, and I was just being sick constantly for kind of 24 hours. Um, but we was hoping it would kind of clear over by then, but it didn't really get much better. I didn't eat nothing um, until probably Sunday. So, yeah, it was, it was touch and go, but um, managed to get on the bench. Yeah, how did you actually feel when you sat on the bench? No food inside you? Uh, was it, was it? Yeah, as I said, to be honest, I wasn't feeling great. Um, didn't really have much energy, um, but the gaffer asked me to, to come on the bench if needed. Um, I think with half hour to go, I was coming on. I was a bit, uh, a bit worried about, but thankfully we scored and... Uh, I managed to sit back down. Yeah. I've uh, I never wanted to sit back down so much in my life on the bench, but uh, <laughs> the way the game went, it, it worked out well. It's the first time you have had a chance to watch this team without you in it. What did you think of the game? Yeah, it was a scrappy game. Um, I think Stevenage are, are a, a physical, well, well-drilled well team. Um, they did make it easy for us. Um, some really big lads at the back for them. Uh, obviously, when the ball has come up in the air to, to Wes and Sean, it was hard for them. Um, but... As we as we said, we didn't play we didn't play great, but the three points are, are in the back. So yeah, um, as you mentioned, Wes and, and Sean tough day against some big defenders, and I mean your your big strength there, Wes, is to hold the ball up and let off him. So you're hoping to to get a recall at Chesterfield this weekend? Yeah, I hope so. As I said to you before, I always want to play. Um, Sean's been doing great now when he's, when he's come in. Uh, I think he's got three assists now. Um, obviously got a couple of goals himself, so it's a it's a fight between all three of us. Um, if the gaffer chooses to put me back in, then then great. Yeah, and uh, I mean, last week's opponent Stevenage were a quite recent entrance to professional football. And yourself, you, you before you joined Bournemouth, you had a couple of non-league clubs. And can you tell us a bit about what you were doing as, um, well, as well as well as football? Yeah, it was uh, I worked on a building site for four or five years, trying to trying to kind of get into the pro game. Um, I worked as a ceiling fixer, um, early mornings, late finishes, <laughs> straight off to training. Um, Tuesday and Thursday nights um, but I was one of them ones that stuck with it I know a lot of people that have kind of gone through down down the same path and kind of jacked it in so uh, that's why I'm here now Yeah, and do you think that's made you even appreciate it even more because you've been you've seen the side yeah, working definitely. all day and then training um, at night and definitely I mean this is a dream coming in at 10 o'clock training and going home um, I used to get up at 5 in the morning and get in at, at darkness uh, 6 o'clock so uh, so yeah, no, I can't knock it, but I try and try and relate that to the youngsters as well at times because it's hard when they come through like pro clubs and always kind of just been training. They, they don't really know what it's like out in the real world, but uh, but yeah, hopefully I can can help the youngsters as well. Yeah, and Chesterfield this weekend, the, the only other team in the league with a hundred percent home record like Cheltenham, and is it, it'd be quite nice to go up there and be the first team to win a league game at their new ground, wouldn't it? It'd yeah, be a nice little scalp. It's going to be a tough one. Um, I think everyone knows Chesterfield are a good team. They've been doing well in this league for a long time now um, as you said unbeaten at home new stadium fans behind them it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a tough one but we just got to do what we've uh, we've kind of every game we've started away we've done really well we've gone in we've taken the lead but unfortunately we haven't we haven't really got that win yet um, it's going to be a tough one but yeah three points would be great Yeah, it's, it's a good record you've, you've played six games and you've led at some point in all, all the league games and Stevenage was the first time the team, team's obviously kept a clean sheet yeah. It's a good sign, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good sign, but at the same time, it's, we need to be picking up wins um, and obviously draws away from home. Um, it's always nice we're scoring goals, but as a team, we've just got, we've just got to make sure we uh, we defend properly and um, and keep that lead. Did you ever play at the old grounds with Bournemouth? Or? Yeah, Chesterfield. Yeah, I did play there. I think we played them three times last year in the cup. I think we had them. Um, got a pretty good record there. I think. Um, I think I was unbeaten there, so hopefully I can carry that on there this weekend. Yeah. And when a team goes to new ground, it probably always gives them a big lift, doesn't it? They've got the new facilities and yeah, definitely. I think they were crying out for a for a kind of stadium to match their ambition. Um, as I said, they they get their fan base and right behind them, and they've started the season on fire. So I mean, it's going to be a tough place to go. They're full of confidence and they've got some really good players. So and you you feeling back to 100 percent now? You didn't take anything out of you last week? Yeah. Um, managed to eat all week properly um, had a nice day off yesterday where I kind of chilled out and uh, got ready for today so yeah hopefully fingers crossed everything so 100% back, back to how I was cheers Jeff